Well, Malawi's main opposition party is asking President Peter Mutharika to resign over allegations that he received a kickback from a $4 million government contract. Mutharika has called the allegations fake news designed to smear him ahead of an election next year. Joining me now via Skype to discuss this is an African affairs analyst, Ademola Oshudi. Uh, Ademola, good to have you here on CBC News. Tell us your opinion on how um, these allegations, first of all, might affect uh, Peter's chances next year. Well, um, any allegation of impropriety or um, corruption in any election itself is very, um, is very daunting. But uh, in, in the Malawian situation, it's, um, it's rather um, serious because um, uh, Malawi has a, a, a more a good governance system, a better good governance system in place than many other African countries. So um, it's, it is a risk to the uh, incumbent, to the current uh, president, uh, Mukarati, but um, in, overall it may not be enough to actually um, uh, topple him or remove him from power through the um, uh, you know, election box. Right, and he has dismissed um, these allegations as a fake. How, what more would you expect him to do now to further clear his name uh, ahead of the elections next year? Well, it's, um, it's, it's a long time in, elect in politics. Um, things can change really fast. But what is he has counting for him is... Um, robust growth in the economy. Um, he's done a lot of uh, uh, work in the infrastructure of the country, especially the capital. And overall, the opposition is not as united as it seems. Um, so, you know, overall, it's, it's still to his advantage. Um, and I guess time, the longer it takes, the more it is for him to, uh, to uh, defend um, his position and also, um, you know, clear the allegation um, surrounding him and his party. But uh, time is, I guess, is to his advantage. Malawi Congress Party is not alone um, in this fight with the president. They also have other civil society groups backing them, um, you know, fighting for the president, saying he must resign because of these allegations. How strong do you think their point is, considering that he's supposed to um, go to court and then normal prosecution um, processes are supposed to follow before um, you're sure that he was, he's act he was actually culpable in those offenses? Well, uh, again, it's, uh, it's still a long time before uh, anything can actually be proven in court. And uh, what, what we have in place here is, is a government that is, you know, has, has you know, ensured the growth of the uh, economy, especially from the way it left off with, uh, with Banda, and also is also seen a fragmented opposition. Civil society groups uh, will fight and they will um, bring up um, allegations and uh, will back it up. But um, at the end of the day, uh, what does the justice system say? How will justice prevail? How fast is um, an outcome of the, uh, of the inquiry? So all this is to the president's um, advantage. Um, but in any, in any economy, especially in Africa, um, the, economy, the, the economy is probably the most important factor. If the people feel um, deprived or they feel uh, in a situation of, uh, um, you know, worse off than they were before, then they would vote, um, they would make their opinion known through the ballot box. But at this moment, um, the allegations made by the opposition and by the civil society, mm. as uh, credible as may be, um, is still a far off and, um, from determining the outcome of the, uh, the next general election in Malawi. Right. And then this is not the first time um, these sort of allegations are being put forward against uh, President Mutharika. In the words of the MCP leader, Lazarus Chakwera, he said this is um, actually no certain, you know, uh, for a president to, be, to have been um, involved, allegedly involved uh, so many times in uh, corruption scandals. How will this affect, this affect his popularity generally with, with the people? Elections aside, vying for political offices aside, his popularity now as a person and the party he is with, how will, they, how will uh, these allegations affect those? Well, the, it's, 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 
the, the fact is the president got himself in trouble by being the sole signatory to um, the the party's uh, finances, the party's account. So um, the $3.9 million, um, dollars, almost $4 million that is meant to have entered the, the party's um, coffers through, I think, uh, Karim, um, a businessman, it's, um, itself is very, very uh, dubious. But, um, you know, I think that what the party is trying to do is trying to have uh, a strong um, um, system in place whereby there will be checks and balances and the president will not be the sole signatory and again avoiding this controversy. Um, the, the issue here is is popularity as election uh, looms. Um, I don't believe it will, um, it will um, change the outcome, especially with the election being a 50 plus one majority vote. So if he gets over 50 percent, he, he wins regardless of the uh, numbers of parties there. So he is projected to get over 50 percent. Um, obviously, if there's more allegation of corruption against him, then it's, um, it's, it's likely to affect um, that, um, that analysis. All right, very quickly, let's delve into how um, this process might play out. Um, talking about the judiciary uh, system, the, the judicial system in Malawi, we know that the businessman um, who paid that 145 Malawian uh, Chakwa uh, said he paid it into the account of the ruling party of which um, President Mutharika is a sole signatory. So we're expecting all of these to um, play out and be processed in the courts. How optimistic are you? you that the judiciary will do justice to this case? Well, it, Malawi has um, rather strong institutions um, compared to other parts of Africa. They do have a judiciary that is, is in independent and is uh, empowered and have also made uh, decisions that have been contrary to the ruling party. So the, I do expect a fair hearing. Um, I do expect the, ju the uh, law system to uh, take its due course. Um, however, um, there, there are so many um, defense. I, I remember reading um, something about the, the, the ruling party's position, which is, um, you know, the, the, it, was a, it was a normal donation and uh, the president should not have been a signatory. However, it's, uh, it went through normal due process and the, the money was donation for the cause. It actually was deposited in their account, so it's 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 still not clear. Um, but um, I do assure you that the Malawian judicial system um, is extremely strong and quite independent compared to uh, other parts of Africa, especially especially um, you know I would say West Africa or even um, Central Central Africa. Like you see, Ademola, it's still a long road to May next year when Malia Malawians will head to the polls to vote in a new president, parliament and ward councillors. We'll see how all of these will play out before then. Ademola Oshodi, thank you very much for your time on CBC News.